Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you will find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. If this is your first time here, congratulations, you have found me. On this channel, I do credit card reviews, uh, travel accessories reviews and uh, articles on points and reverse and along the way I document my travel and uh, I share my travel experience on this channel so if you haven't subscribed already this is the time to subscribe now because there will be more videos coming up and today I'll talk about the American Express Cobalt credit card so I have uh, my new Cobalt credit card right here so I'll do unboxing and do a brief review uh, of this card now the difference between my review and any other review uh, that uh, what you see online they are most of them I would say 99% of them are affiliated so they are actually uh, working for the credit card companies and you're not going to get honest and unbiased opinion from uh, those reviews uh, because uh, you know those reviews uh, actually uh, by uh, clicking on their links uh, when you apply uh, or sign up uh, they make money and so basically they're just selling the products or they're working for the credit card company uh, so they have uh, interest not to give you all the inside information but on my channel uh, there's no affiliated review or anything so what you hear is the real review uh, honest review and I'm actually not working for any credit card companies or getting paid or taking money from any credit card companies so I'm working for you and uh, I'll give you totally honest opinion so this credit card uh, American Express Cobalt uh, is the credit card for today and uh, let's start with the unboxing and then I'll talk about uh, you know the features benefits analysis and insights on this credit card so this is the whole package uh, you're looking at uh, it, it came uh, this way and I'm going to take off the whole uh, everything from the package and okay so I'll set this aside here and uh, the credit card is right in here so I'm going to just you know set this aside uh, for now and I'll come back to this later and let's look at uh, what uh, literature they have uh, included okay so the first thing uh, I'm looking at is the American Express uh, card member agreement and other important information so here it just talks about uh, you know uh, permitted use credit limit balance transfer minimum payment and all other information so I'm not going to go through uh, this literature right here so I'll just uh, set it aside here and then the next two piece we are looking at is the important changes to your card member agreement and other important changes I'll set this aside here and then here membership rewards program and how this program works so this one has some information but uh, I'm not going to you know go through all of these um, let's take a look here if there's anything I need to mention okay so here is a little chart here so American Express offer different type of reward, uh, reward points uh, for this Cobalt card. Uh, it's called uh, Membership Rewards Select and this doesn't get transferred to uh, aeroplane or airline or other frequent flyer programs directly uh, which you can see right here. Right here. Uh, like some other American Express cards where you can transfer uh, to uh, other air, airline programs but there's a way uh, even with this card to transfer which i'll talk about later on so that's all i wanted to show you here and i'll set it aside so now we have a certificate of insurance and i'll talk about it a little bit here so as you can see that this card offers uh, medical uh, emergency insurance which is the in out of province country or international travel medical insurance so you can go use this you know when you are outside your own province and you get sick uh, and then you can just you know call their emergency line and uh, you know you'll be covered and then flight and baggage delay plus hotel and motel burglary uh, insurance lost or stolen luggage insurance travel accident insurance car rental theft and damage insurance 
buyer's assurance protection plan, purchase protection, customer service. Okay, so now in terms of insurances, I can see that it has a one very good insurance, which is the travel medical insurance right here. And in terms of other insurances, it has flight and baggage delay, but it doesn't have uh, one of the most uh, two important, uh, two most important travel insurances when which you should be looking for in your travel credit card, uh, which is the trip cancellation insurance and the trip interruption insurance. So that this card is uh, uh, missing those options. And in terms of uh, the medical in, uh, travel medical insurance, I'll just quickly take a look and I'll see how much is the total coverage amount. So let's uh, take a look here. Okay, so if you take a look here, uh, you have to be uh, under 65 years age and then it gives you 15 days of travel insurance and the total amount is uh, I thought I saw the total coverage amount somewhere here okay so the total coverage is right here which is up to five million dollars so 15 days five million dollars under 65 so if you are under 65 and if you're traveling within uh, up to 50 days then uh, this uh, insurance is okay for this uh, or good insurance for this uh, travel credit card uh, and then in terms of other insurances I'm not going to go through all of these uh, because I need to talk about some more uh, some other stuff uh, but uh, it has uh, you know these insurances which I showed you now just one important thing about travel insurances whenever you're looking for a credit card any travel insurances don't look just the amount and everything always look for the provider because there are many uh, Canadian credit cards one example is Scotia Gold Passport uh, Scotia Passport Visa Infinite or Scotia Gold or other credit card companies which provides uh, provide lots of insurances but the provider is a like you know there the provider is no name or very uh, a, or a company which has very uh, bad ratings or reviews online for example I believe the name of that company is uh, American Bankers Association and then you know uh, on paper all those insurances look very good but when you actually go to claiming uh, you're gonna have difficulty because the uh, insurance company has bad reputation of not uh, you know uh, providing or fulfilling claims uh, based on uh, many uh, reviews and uh, people who had experience so that's what you need to look for uh, for this credit card the provider is Royal Sun Alliance insurance company which is RSA and uh, for travel accident is uh, Shab or Chab Life Insurance Company. So Royal Sun Alliance, I know this company. Uh, this is a reputable Canadian company. I do not know this company. Uh, so always like, you know, I'm always comfortable with company I know. Uh, for example, you know, I'd uh, rather go for RBC, TD uh, or RSA for my travel insurances rather than uh, some companies which has uh, bad reputations so that's a very important piece of information you need to know I'll set this aside now and let's take a look here so another important changes I don't think you need to we need to go through these and then we have another important changes I'll just set it aside okay so now we have a, a literature or brochure and looks like uh, we're going to get a lot more information on here so let me go through this and I'll open this up okay so here we have the reward structure for this credit card so this credit card earn, earns uh, five times on eligible uh, restaurant uh, food and uh, it can be like you know any type of uh, establishment uh, for example a groceries a restaurant uh, or anything related to food so that's a very good earning rate and two times on travel and transit so travel and transit can be like you know taxi uh, uber lyft uh, and uh, monthly transit uh, your local transit authority so anything like that and so it it has two times uh, on travel expenses which is another good thing and one times on everything else and then let's take a look here I'll come back to this a little later uh, so we have here uh, eat drink travel transit and about to go get more rewarding which is okay and then we have some important information about membership rewards uh, points okay so here 
one important thing I'd like to show you. Uh, if you're redeeming the member, uh, the reward points for travel expenses, then you're getting 1,000 points for $10. All other purchases is 1,000 points for $7. So what this means that if you are using your points for travel purposes, then you're getting one cent, uh, one percent return on this card, uh, or uh, one cent per dollar, and uh, per point. So one one point uh, one cent per dollar, or one percent return, and for other you're getting a uh, 0 0.7 cent per dollar return. So one cent and 0 0.7 cent. So the best thing to do not to redeem. Uh, this, these points for anything else but to only redeem for uh, travel expenses and due to the fact that you're earning five times on the selected categories so that means that you're having five percent return if you are redeeming uh, your points for travel pur purchases but you can actually get more returns on uh, on the points which I'll talk about uh, shortly so let's take a look here and okay so on this side Okay, I don't see anything else uh, here. So now, uh, what I'll, I'm going to t talk about is that how to utilize the five times categories. So this card earns five times categories on uh, restaurant and dining, groceries, uh, those categories. So although this card does not convert directly to airline uh, points, for example, airplane or avios, uh, but you can transfer uh, the points from this card to Marriott points. That's one option. Uh, and uh, another transfer option would be you can transfer them to Hilton uh, hotel point. So if you're transfer transferring from one point uh, from points from this card to the Hilton hotel point, then usually you know Hilton hotel point I value one cent per uh, point. So that's like uh, you're still getting one cent return, or I'm sorry, five percent return on the accelerated categories now the best value for this card comes when you transfer to Marriott points so if you transfer to Marriott points then actually it is possible to earn 2.5 aeroplan or other 40 airline miles per dollar when you spend your points on these categories so for example let me just show you a quick calculation here which I did before uh, the way it works for the five times categories, you're going to be uh, earning for one dollar five points, and then you transfer five points to Marriott, uh, and then you'll get uh, six points because from this card to Marriott, each five points transfers uh, to six Marriott points, and then uh, just move this a little bit. Okay, and then what happens if you transfer from Marriott to uh, other airline? Uh, programs is that Marriott adds 5k bonus for each 60,000 points. So let's say if you're transferring uh, 60,000 Marriott points to other airlines, then you're going to get uh, five times uh, 65 altogether uh, Marriott uh, points. And the ratio from Marriott points to 40 plus airlines, uh, Aeroplan, British Airways, and a lot other airlines are, uh, are included in this 40 plus airlines so basically the ratio is 3 is to 1 so for each 3 Marriott points you're going to get one uh, airline point so if you do the math and if you transfer with the 5k bonus uh, and if you transfer over 60,000 uh, like technically you have to you shouldn't be doing a transferring like you know let's say less than 60,000 or after 60,000 let's say like 80,000 or 90,000 without reaching another 60,000 because it throws in 5,000 for each 60,000. So then at a three is to one ratio, your $1 is going to earn 2.5 aeroplane or avios miles or other 40 airline miles. So this ratio or this $1 uh, is to 2.5 aeroplane miles, only applicable for the five time categories. So for that reason this is the best airline earning card in canada if you transfer to marriott and then transfer to airlines this way 
and for that reason I'm going to be holding this card only for the five times and categories and even for the two times categories travel and transit uh, to earn the points and then later on I'll transfer to uh, airlines or even if it makes sense for me I can transfer to Hilton points because uh, some of the Hilton points redemptions have very good value for example I just finished a trip and I uh, spent uh, I stayed in Malaysia a Hilton uh, Garden Inn hotel all free uh, and the video will be coming up uh, uh, shortly on the channel and for that I had a very good Hilton redemption value which is more than one cent per point so it all depends how you redeem your points so in order to utilize the airplane or any hotel program you don't need to know more about those programs and once you learn the program then you can convert your uh, points from here to those programs and you can get very good value for your program for example if you redeem airplane or British Airways Avios or other airline program technique uh, very tactfully uh, then for each airplane point you can get 5% reward or even 10% reward when you transfer them for business class flight redemptions so if you have this card and if you use those accelerated categories then you basically earning a lot more airline points and this is a very good card for that reason the other redemption can be uh, you can uh, do fixed redemption uh, from American Express as well uh, and then if you do that then you should get at least 1% uh, return so for those accelerated categories uh, it's going to be per dollar 5% return so redeem this card the best thing you can do with this card is to redeem for hotel or points and then transfer to airplane or airline points but if you are not familiar with uh, you know all the uh, all these then just uh, go for the travel uh, redemptions and you are still getting a uh, good uh, value for your money for these categories because it's like having a 5% return and 2% return so that's the good thing about the card now let's talk about the annual fee uh, this card doesn't charge annual fee at a time so it charges uh, ten dollar per month uh, so you know no other card in Canada or even probably other countries I never heard of this or I don't know if any other country we have uh, they have this option that you know uh, the annual fee uh, ch gets charged every month so every month you're gonna be paying uh, ten dollars instead of hundred twenty dollars at a time but I like this feature I, I think this is a very good uh, option and uh, people who do lots of groceries uh, this is a good card to have and if you you know give an additional card to your friends or to your like you know uh, wife husband or partners then you can get uh, a lot more points just from the five times categories now let's talk about what the card missing I told you in the beginning that the card doesn't have trip cancellation insurance and then it doesn't have uh, trip interruption so it's missing those two and another thing it's missing is that it doesn't have any zero foreign currency conversion uh, feature so that means uh, what it means that anytime you're buying anything online uh, in other currency than Canadian or in uh, you are in other country than Canada then it's going to charge you a 2.5% uh, which is standard for most Canadian cards foreign currency conversion fee so that I don't like uh, for that uh, feature uh, so do not use this card for foreign uh, purchases or foreign transactions and another thing this card is missing is the concierge service so it's very important that you have access to a concierge service for a travel card because concierge can do lots of things and it will save you a lot of time and hassle uh, concierge can book your whole trip uh, you know can provide information can give you access to events or tickets or restaurant that you wouldn't be able to do it by yourself or you wouldn't have those access uh, so it's always have to good to have a concierge so this card is not providing any concierge but it has the $120 fees which many of the Canadian cards provide concierge and trip interruption trip cancellation insurance for $120 annual fee so that that's what the card is missing but except that this is a very good card for the accelerator categories uh, which is the five times and two times and good card for uh, the travel medical uh, it has 5 million 15 days under 65 so another good thing I like is about the $10 per month annual fee 
uh, and then uh, it doesn't charge any uh, addi any additional fees if you give additional cards to other people so that's another good thing so these are the insights and analysis of this card now I keep uh, my plan is to keep this card and only use for groceries and uh, for travel I'm not going to uh, use if you know there's a foreign transaction fee involved or if like you know I need uh, trip cancellation or trip in interruption insurance then I'm not going to use this for travel purchases but if other uh, if I do not need those then I can use this for travel purchases as well so five times is the best uh, category is the best earning rate in Canada and uh, earning uh, 2.5 airline miles for each dollar spent uh, on the accelerated category is the best you know earning rate in Canada as well so for those reasons I am going to keep this card and uh, so basically that's all for today and let me just now take out my uh, new American Express Cobalt card and I'll show you how it works okay so here we have Okay, so here's the American Express Cobalt credit card. I like the look uh, looks uh, of this card. It looks very, you know, uh, very uh, fancy and looks very like, you know, uh, upscale card. So I like that card, but it's just made of plastic. But it's a very good looking card. And uh, that's how it looks. And uh, if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you don't like uh, if you don't find anything uh, what I told you then you know you can then dislike uh, dislike the video and uh, I'll be coming up with more travel videos credit card videos and other unboxing or product reviews videos so that's all for now and I'll see you shortly thank you